Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this video and in this video we're going to see the step-by-step -step guide on how to auto mount NFS share in Linux and we're going to be using this example that says configure auto mount on NFS client HKDev1 using an indirect map and slash software slash site one as the mount point for the client and it says the NFS share slash software download similarly we're also going to um, use a direct map on slash direct slash software as the mount point all right um i don't know if i've mentioned it that during the course um, of the study that um auto mount auto mount maps can be direct or indirect all right so in master map file entry you can either configure a direct or an indirect mount type but as we go on in this um, example you will, you would understand uh, better what i mean by that the first thing we need to do is to verify if you can access the NFS share on the NFS server. And that simply means that we need to um, configure our NFS client. And of course, we know that we need the RPC bind um, services to be up and running. All right, so let's verify if it is up and running. So I'm going to do um, systemctl status RPC, RPC bind. So you can see that this service is active and running. Uh, by default, the service is always enabled and started, but it's also a good idea for us to verify that it is. All right, so now let's verify if we can access the NFS share on the NFS server. And to do that, we can use the show mount command. So I can say show mount iPhone E on the NFS server, which is 168.170.172. So you can see the export list for the uh, NFS server and we can see that we have the NFS client to be among the export list and it is shared on this directory which is um, slash software download and of course that's what the um, question has told us that um, the NFS shares slash software download and also if you if you're trying to access the NFS share on the server and you're getting an error when you run this command um, I know I've also gotten that error a um, couple of times RPC, blah, RPC bind blah blah error so what you can do is to uh, just you know mount this mount uh, let's do this so we're going to mount the uh, root directory 172 okay we're going to mount the root directory of the uh, NFS server but logically, we are not actually mounting the root directory. Um, we are. It's going to show us the um, NFS shares on the NFS server. So that's what it's going to do. It's not going to show us the whole root directory of the server. And we're going to mount this on slash mnt. Okay. And now that we've been able to mount this, let's confirm. If I go to cd mnt and I do ls, so you can see that we have the shared um, directory, which is a um, software download. So that means we can access the NFS um server which is um we can access our nfs share on the nfs server which is what we want to confirm and verify so that's good and the next step we now need to take is to um, configure auto mount all right and to configure auto mount like we've said in the previous lesson we need um the auto fs service so we can just um install the auto fs service i can do dnf install auto fs so I already have this um, service installed on my system. If you don't have it installed on your system, um, it's going to install it. Okay, uh, my network is a bit slow. I can just do this. Uh, let's verify. Let me just show you that I have it installed on my system. So I'm going to verify. You can see that I have this package already installed. All right, so um, what you need to do is to install that package using the, by using this command, okay? So when you install this um, package, um, this AutoFS package, the next step we need to take is to um, configure AutoFS by creating the master map file. So we're going to create um, a master map file for an indirect mapping, okay? And like I've said, um, you should always create a drop-in file. Um, I think it's uh, better that way. All right. We've, we've mentioned the reason why you should do that in the previous lesson. So this is going to be etc auto.master.d. So I can call this um, technique 
you can call the drop in file techni.autofs um, and I must make sure that it has the extension of um, autofs. Alright, let's create an indirect map file first. Okay, so this is going to be um, slash software. Alright, slash etc slash auto dot technique. So you can see that um, we created the master map file to be technique dot auto fs. So when you're putting in the entry, the entry should also take the name of the um, master map file. All right, it's um, very important to do that. So what we are saying is that hey, auto fs, look into this um, into this file. All right, so whatever configuration or whatever thing you find in this file, okay, um, by the time um, this directory is active, okay, mount whatsoever configuration you find on this file on this directory. And this is the parent direct directory. So since this is an indirect map file, so we are saying, okay, um, let the mapping begin from slash software. And that is what we have specified here. So the next thing we need to do is uh, we need we now need to create this um, we now need to put in the parameter for this file so we need to create this file actually all right so I'm going to save this so let's create the file which is um, etc auto dot technique all right so I'm going to um, put in the entries for this file here. So it's going to be site one okay then um read write followed by sync so i'm saying um synchronize the um write the write immediately when it happens okay on the nfs um server which is 192.168 on 170 172 okay and the nfs shares um software download so this entry is just as um, when you put an entry in the FS tab file all right so this is um, the um, directory where the mounts would um, take place for the NFS server so because it has it is an indirect um, mapping it's going to be slash software slash 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 site one and this is um, the option mount option which is a read write followed by synchronize if you want to put this you can and if you don't want to you can remove it there are other options which you can specify okay so this is just the, the basic option then followed by the um, server oops followed by the server which is uh this all right and this is the nfs share so let's save this file so, um let's enable and um start auto fs service enable auto fs so you can see that um, a symbolic link has been created and uh, so that means that the service has been enabled and um, of course started so we can test our configuration all right so let's um go to the directory which is um software right so software site one so you can see that um, we don't have anything here so we need to specify the sub directory which is site one all right so you can see the um, the content of the NFS share here so that means um, the, config the, the configuration is well done so I can just do um, CD software slash site one Right, so this is a uh, nice and um let's do th that of um, a direct mapping so let's um do that of um direct mapping so for direct mapping in the master map file we need to um specify that in the auto.master dot d slash technique dot auto fs all right Oops, this is a wrong directory. Etc auto.master.d. Yeah, I actually have issues with my dots key. Alright, so um for a direct map, 
um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, say slash dash okay on etc auto dot technique as well so like i've said uh, what we are saying is that auto effect should look at this file whichever thing that is defined on this file um should be should be mounted or should work when there is an activity on this um, directory so this is a direct mapping so we are saying that um, um whatever thing we define here has to be absolute it has to be the absolute directory all right so let's save this file and then let's um prepare the configuration file um create the configuration file rather for the map file so that's going to be um beam etc slash auto dot technique okay so so this since this is um absolute so this is going to be slash direct slash software okay read write sync um all right so this is fine you can save this file so what i'm going to do right now is to um start and enable auto effect so since it is already started i'm just going to restart i'm going to restart auto fs so let's test our configuration if i do cd slash direct slash software all right so you can see that we already have um, the content of our nfs share in here so um that means the configuration is well done so it depends on your preference it depends on what you want to do when you're configuring auto mount you, you can either create um a direct map file or an indirect map file so it depends on on what you want to achieve all right and i should also mention that you can use wildcards for um the auto mount so in the uh, master map file um, we can you know define this here all right and in the map file we can define this so this is a wildcard we are saying um anything starting from this directory which is um slash software all right um then on the nfs share anything starting from um slash software slash download and that's why we're putting ampersand here so um it depends on like i've said it depends on what you want to achieve in your environment and then if you can also come to this website and see um you know you can just um, do this example by yourself in your lab or in your environment using the wildcards for auto mount all right so it's just going to follow the um, similar configuration and also um, you can also use auto mount another scenario where white cards rather can be useful is um, if you have um, if you don't want to specify the number of home directories in one reference file so let's say in this um, map file you need to specify like user one um, this you need to specify this other parameter you need to specify this other parameter all right if you don't want to do all of this just um, use the word card and say okay um for all okay which is um user one which is um user one user two user three okay don't forget that this would already would already be specified in the master map file so you are saying for all okay um let this be the share which is um slash um slash ampersand so if it is slash um slash user one slash um slash user two this is this should be two and slash um slash user three so this is going to work all right so um thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel um bye for now